Donna Eden and welcome to the first day of the daily energy routine challenge. So we're going to do this for seven days, okay? And you will be building up your immune system. You will be building habits in your body to make your body feel better and to be less uh, less uh, susceptible to illnesses or colds or anything. So here we go. So we're going to begin with the four thumps. You're going to thump on your cheekbones. And notice if it hurts there at all. And breathe deep in through your nose and out through your mouth. And that grounds your energy. That pumps your energy all the way down and hooks you up to planet Earth. And then you're going to go right here underneath your collarbone. And this is to make sure that your energy is traveling in the right direction. And by that I mean, you know, when you feel fabulous, you're in sync with your own energy. And when you don't feel fabulous, you aren't. So this is really good to correct that. And then your thymus thump right here on your thymus is so valuable for um, invigoration and, uh, and, you know, think about, Think about Tarzan before he swung on a vine out in the jungle. He'd always thump his thymus because it does. It gives you vitality and it's so important in your immune system. It makes, your thymus makes T cells, okay? Now here, the next one is drop down below, right here on your rib cage, on the side below your bra line. And this is on a spleen meridian and it's so good for your metabolism. It metabolizes food, but it also metabolizes anything toxic in your environment. It metabolizes um, if you've taken in information that is hurtful to you. It metabolizes it and moves it out. Okay, next you're going to make sure that your energies are crossing over. And by that I mean your, all of your energy systems really require that your energies cross over from one side of your body to the other. And I'm going to put my right hand on my left shoulder. I'm going to push in hard. I'm going to pull it over the shoulder and then drag it to the opposite hip. And now on the other side, I'm going to drag it to the opposite hip. I'm going to do that you know, two or three times. And breathe in deep through your nose and out through your mouth. Okay? All right. Now, the next thing you're going to cement that in with a cross crawl, which just is an exaggerated march. Now, if you, if you feel like you're not sure if you're doing it right, hit the opposite knee, okay? And that accentuates and cements in that crossover. All right, the next one is really valuable to me, and I'm going to do the long version of this. There, there's a short version and a long version, and all through this week you'll see both. But I'm going to take a chair here. No, I can just, I can back up or I can sit right here. Okay, so this one you need to sit down for if you do the long version of the Wayne Cook posture, okay? And Wayne was somebody uh, I named it for because, uh, because he was the first person I ever saw hook up all of the different meridians in the body in a crossover pattern. And he did it to help stuttering, to help people who couldn't quit stuttering. So this is really excellent for that, but it's so good for any kind of dyslexia or if you're feeling overwhelmed or scrambled in your own mind, okay? Take your right foot and put it over your left knee. Take your left hand and put it around your ankle your right hand and put it around the bottom of your feet, okay? Now you're going to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And as you breathe in through your nose, drag your uh, leg up. So you sit straight up and drag towards your body and then release. Now the other side over the right, right hand around your leg, ankle, left hand around the bottom of the feet, and then breathe into your nose and drag your leg up and down. This is the best unscrambler I know, and it's, and when you get really stressed out and you can't think clearly, sit down and do this. Okay, now, take your hands, put your fingers together like a kind of cathedral 
position, put your thumbs to your third eye and do the same breathing. One more time. As you let your breath out, bend your fingers into your forehead. Push in hard and pull across to your temples. And from there, we're gonna go right into the crown pull. You can do, you can repeat that one time if you'd like. And pull it across your forehead to your temples and come to your hairline, push in and pull apart. And now you're gonna travel all across the top of your head. Push in hard and pull out about a half an inch to each side. And you can do it with your nails if you have nails. Just push in and pull a, apart. Go all the way uh, across the back side of your head. And then when you get to your neck, push in and pull to the front of your neck. Push in and then <laughs> hang your fingers on your, on your shoulders. And take a deep breath in and let them go. Okay? And again, if you're feeling overwhelmed in life at all, or you can't think straight, or you can't get out of your emotions, do that exercise. It's really helpful. Do it before you ever have to present anything to anyone or before a group. It's really excellent. Okay, now we're going to connect heaven and earth. And this one is best done standing up, but if you can't stand up, you can do it sitting down. You can do any of these exercises standing up or sitting down, okay? So now you're gonna rub your hands together and shake them off. Start your ha hands, your hands on your thighs. Take a deep breath into your nose and out to your mouth. Now swing your arms together in a kind of prayerful position. Now stretch up to the heavens and down to the earth. Flatten both hands and hold your breath. And then let your breath come back down to normal. Go up the other side. And up the other side. And one more time. And this time when you let your breath out, hang over and go all the way down to your ankles. And at this point, take two deep breaths here. a sideways figure eight down here by your ankles and travel up your body all the way with figure eights. Figure eights weave your energy fields together so it's always good for you. Now reach up high all the way and bring it down the sides. Right up. Now you're going to zip up the front of your body. There's a meridian there called central meridian and if you yeah, take both hands. You can take one or two, but zip up all the way up the front of your body. If you have an affirmation, you can say it there because it just travels deep inside your body. Uh, it spins on your chakras and it goes deeper into your body. And I, because this does deal with um, self-suggestion and hypnosis, you can put a little self-suggestion in there, like locking it, just locking it, so that you won't lose that centeredness, because it is the center of your of gravitation and, and holding you centered, okay? And the next one is hook up. Put one finger in your belly button, one finger at your third eye, push in and pull up. Into your nose and out through your mouth. Ta-da! <laughs> you know, that, that one is such an excellent one to do because it hooks up all of us, all of the energies in your body, all the meridians in your body, and it creates a, a microcosmic orbit that goes around your body, and you're just more protected. You're more taken care of. You're safer. Thank you, everybody.